Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 33 of Abandoned Kids to Teen Years. And if you are returning, welcome back. And in the last part, we had a birthday. Brian aged up to a young adult. So now, one of my main things with him is to try and get him to work on his parenting skill. So that he doesn't give too many wrong answers when the teens ask him questions. Because I finally randomly ask any young adult or older in the house, regardless of whether they have adopted them as caregivers. So he is already at level three and I have him queued up to do some more reading of the parenting skill book. And then I'm going to try and have him help Ethan because that will help really well with building his parenting because you can only learn so much from the books in the game, somewhat similar to real life, um, as the Sim Gurus have said. So you can only do so much with the books. It's best to actually be hands-on and learning in the game. So that's going to be his focus for today. So the rest of them have uh, are going to school soon. I have Eric was eating. Let me see how he is. Honestly, he's had enough, so I'm going to send him to school. I don't really want him to be too late. And I had Sylvia, she's on her way, she was having a shower, so I had her do that. When I came in, as usual, I seem to have this uh, thing where all my sims are in their winter clothes when I load up a save, or if I go in from create a sim, or anything like that, if it's winter time in the game. So that's why he had winter clothes on, which then he changed again when he went outside to go to school. So it is work, they both are working from home, and... I saw that Sawyer is, seems to be thinking about uh, Brian for some reason. So he needs to take a cutting. That's his work from home assignment today. So I'll have him do that. And I have Amelia. She got the call a little bit earlier. And her work from home assignment is that she needs to make a flower arrangement with a sense. So right now she's working on that flower arrangement. Let's go check in on her. Let me actually check in on Ethan. I had asked Ethan... I'm going to put the walls into cutaway and make it easier. Oh, there he is. She looks like he's looking at his daddy. Maybe we will uh, talk about superheroes. That will help him with his communication skill. He does need a bath, and he's a little teensy bit hungry, but he's not actually a lot hungry, so I'm going to have him just eat a piece of uh, a tomato and an apple from his inventory right now just to help tide him over so that we don't spend a lot of time sitting there because he's not really that hungry. But he's just hungry enough that it's probably a good idea. So we're going to have him babble. And once Brian has seems to already have finished, I am going to have Brian give little Ethan a bath. Because that will also help him <laughs> with his... I'm just trying to scroll and trying to figure out where we have a bathtub in this house. Because over there, the um, one that's off the entrance away is just a shower. So I'm going to have him give Ethan a bath. So he will do that. Now you, my dear Amelia, I had you eat a strawberry because I'm hoping for a girl this time. I didn't care with the first one because essentially I let the first one be what it is and then usually try and influence the second one to be the opposite. So you made your flower arrangement and now I need you to scent it. You obviously don't have a rare flower to scent with because I saw that that was grayed out or else you're not high enough. I'm not sure what her skill is. And I didn't want to bother checking because I knew that this would come up and it would just cancel it if I was looking. So she has, I'm going to just do another crocus one. And she needs to socialize with her children 10 times. Or we could have them finish their work tasks for today and maybe go on a date. But then if I do that, then I can't really work on Brian and his parenting skills. So yeah, because I kind of was hoping... We're going to return the, tra the trash book, the notebook, and not trash it. Unless I just have them do dates here, because on their love aspiration, I think they need to have gold. Um, let me go into love. Let me go into soulmate. They need to have three gold dates with their spouse, as well as doing some romantic gestures with their spouse as soulmates, which they are. Let me check Amelia. I think she maybe, for some reason, got one of those gold dates already registered when she went from the one before. Yeah, she did. So she managed to get one of those gold dates. So she only needs two more, but she needs to do all 50 romantic gestures with her spouse as soulmate. So we'll see whether we can get that snuck in while we're doing it. And what um, 
So I don't want to take a cutting because I can't remember if we've done this. So I'm going to... Do I want to supercell? The only reason I'm not sure about superselling is, is there anything I'd prefer to harvest? I know in the last part we actually got... This is our splice plant. But I think this time, yeah, all we have is snapdragons on that plant. Nothing else. I'm just trying to see what else. So this is strawberries, strawberries. I don't know that there's anything we really, really need to harvest. And I don't remember. So this is magnificent. Oh, that's my apple and money tree. Is there anything on there? Harvest harvestables. Three money fruit. We're going to make him harvest that first because I don't really want to sell those, those money fruit. <laughs> because you can't actually get money fruit from the money tree. You can only sell it. But if you splice it with another tree, then you can actually get money fruit. And then you can plant those money fruit trees and have more money <laughs> trees. But I'm thinking what I might do is I'll give the others some money trees for them for when they move out so they can plant some in their new homes as opposed to using their aspiration <laughs> points. So that's our one, only one of these trees that's magnificent. The rest aren't. So I'm not really sure what else I would want to try taking a cutting from. And that one is uh, apple and... So I'm going to harvest. What was there? I'm trying to think. It was... I want to actually look at it. So it had some apples. So I might actually plant another apple tree. And I don't know if we have any avocados or cherries for that matter. I don't know. Let me take a look. That's probably something better for me to take a look at off camera because it will take too long for me to do it right now. And I don't really want to do that. Take a lot of time. So she, he already has an apple. Probably because I harvested that before. So I'll just take this apple and plant it there. And we will go to Patchy and check his pockets for seeds. And at some point I need to do his splice. I'll have to think what I want to splice. But right now I don't really know what I want to do. So he's giving that bath. So see, that's helping him with his parenting skill. I don't know if he ended up doing any reading at all. Let me just, no, he didn't because he was just at the bottom of three when he started. So that's fine. He's getting hands-on experience instead of um, reading the book and that's okay. He doesn't need to get it from reading. That didn't actually give him very much, though he is uncomfortable from a toddler Oh, and that was boring. I would have thought that would have went to level three, but maybe they've changed it for the parenting books. Maybe they don't read as far up. So now what I want to do with him is I want to do some flashcards because that will also help us. And we will teach basic needs. So if we do all of like things and he essentially is going to look after Ethan <laughs> today and work on his parenting skill. And Amelia, you're putting that away and you must have finished your work task. You did indeed. And the problem with the taking all of the the cuttings is if I don't make a note and remember what he took a cuttings from before, then I just, uh, did he get, did he harvest this? He did. Because there's nothing there. So we may as well have him, oh, he can't plant it. What is this? It's too cold to plant. Interesting. I have seen that. I have had that happen before. But uh, it is supposed to be inside, so it should be able to plant. Sorry, I just took a brief, <laughs> which I will have cut out to uh, save the game because they're at EA on EA Answering Headquarters. They're actually looking for saves that if you have that issue with uh, things being too cold to plant, that they would like to have saves with that where you have experienced that. So I figured I would save it so that it was already set to go. So if you have ever had that problem, comment below and they are looking for saves for that. So now that I have done that, I need to supercell everything because I would like him to finish that. And let's see, he needs to, no point evolving anything until afterwards and there's really no point evolving, period. Brian, let's check in on little Ethan's needs. So he's actually okay and he's having fun. Why don't you come and clean that? Though he is sad. Why is he sad? Oh, he had a potty accident. Poor little guy. He, he had an accident, so he's not happy about that. He has almost maxed his potty, so that's really good. And once you're finished with that with him, 
What else should you do? We are going to... I don't want to do more flashcards because sometimes they get upset doing flashcards too often. And uh, Why don't we come help him slide? We'll help him climb. What is... What, what is Ethan's movement skill? If I get to the right tab. It is two. So it's not a... He could actually do that very easily on his own. Except for the, the main point is I'm trying to work on... <laughs> our uh, our skill, our parenting skill. So I'm having him help. And then when you finish with that, you're going to do some shape help with your uncle. Just keep a lot of back and forth. And since hopefully they'll be occupied for now, I'm going to take Sawyer and ask for a, um, we're going to do a date. So we'll, I can, and I'm going to just keep him here because then we can keep Ethan working with, with little, uh, keep Ethan and Brian working together and hopefully they will actually work together. So I will have to interrupt the date occasionally <laughs> to get that sorted. And I just see that Leah, uh, needs, oh, she can't go in the sauna. I saw that the woohoo in a, in the sauna was grayed out and that's because she's pregnant. And she's expecting this baby this evening. So we're having some having some more dates before the baby comes along. <laughs> we'll ask a risque question. We need to flirt with our date, so this will help with that. Hopefully, Leah, I will take a quick look in a minute. We're going to kiss to see whether or not her, she has food. And also, I should make sure that... Well, we have a maid here, so the maid should clean the litter box. I know I had gotten rid of the the self-cleaning one because I found oh can we work out I don't know that we can work out with our date that's not very good we may not get a gold because I don't she can't work out <laughs> kind of hard kind of hard to do that one can we kiss again because you need to kiss for that sometimes you don't need to get all of them done sometimes they let you uh, finish it without getting them all done because I don't know that there's anything she can do working out because she's pregnant and he needs to get uh, romantic so can she she's romantic and I think it has to be this way but we'll see whether we'll tell a dirty joke and we'll see whether her kissing him passionately will help Let's go over here. We'll compliment his appearance. And just because it's coming along. Romance. And... No, no, no. Don't go. <laughs> I guess you're pregnant. You want to get off here. <laughs> you don't want to be standing. That makes some sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Not some sense. She doesn't make a lot of sense for you to... Uh, I'm trying to see still not passionate kiss. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for you to do the fast passionate kiss because you kind of like dip them and you probably uh, shouldn't be doing that when you're pregnant but you know it is what it is. Okay time time to take a break from this date and do some more with little Ethan even though I probably should be checking in on this the cat. We're going to teach some more numbers. I'm going to go see. Where is she? She is around the fireplace as usual. She does have food. Maybe before we do that, we'll just assume that Leah is hungry, 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 and have him call Leah to eat. And then we will work on the flashcards some more, like I said, to help with his parenting skill. We're going to do some teaching of numbers. I know that honestly they can do a lot there we go there's our passionate kiss <laughs> in front of everybody <laughs> will that count because she did it will it make him flirty it did count it didn't matter who did it so we can woohoo well we can do that <laughs> that is something we can do closet woohoo works very well there we go so are you coming? So we'll give them some privacy to do that while we look check in on Brian and Ethan. And while we're checking in, oh, he's angry. What is he angry from? All blocked out. Ugh. No more blocks. Variety, not blocks, is the spice of a toddler's life. So that didn't really work. We didn't actually do anything there. Are you going somewhere else? You're going to go watch. 
Maybe uh, he can help with you the slide a little bit. Why don't we help the toddler climb a couple of more times to see whether that helps him with his his parenting skill. And of course it will help Ethan. This is, I'm trying to see if there is a room here. That thing is in our way a little bit, in our angle. <laughs> and there's Patchy. So he's just helping him climb. Oh, we got, we, and we got a gold. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> we got our gold date. So we're going to end it because we got the gold. And that's what you do. You just end your date and then you go on another date. <laughs> we spam dates and romantic. So we're going to go over here. And we are going to ask on a date. <laughs> and I'll be back when they're back again. So we're back here. We got to do some flirting with our date. And the kids are back from school. So that's good. We need to dance with our date. And we just have to just generally socialize. So I am just looking here. And we, of course, I'm trying to do romantic things anyways because as part of that you need to do 50 romantic uh gestures with as i had mentioned earlier so i'm working on that too so we can make out she wants to make pet food and she wants to play an instrument nothing that we're doing on this date <laughs> whisper sweet nothings oh kiss our date passionately well he can do that this time since he did, she did it last time with the other way around, we're going to uh, try and set that up. We'll, we'll just whisper. But I don't know that it counts for socializing because it's he didn't ask her on the date. Oh no, she's gone into labor. <laughs> we may not be able to get our gold. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's sooner than I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be in the evening, I have to say. I was not expecting her to go into labor um, so soon. I don't know that she's going to be able to do much flirting since she's so uncomfortable. And she's hungry. <laughs> Can we ask for a massage? I really need a massage. <laughs> and you need to eat something, my dear. Let me find some strawberries. Let me get some strawberries so you'll feel a bit better. And are you sick too? <laughs> You're sick? <laughs> that was just too much. And I see Leah is happy. So that's good. And are you hungry now, little Ethan? You are getting a little hungry. And you got to go potty. So why don't you have a piece of a tomato. And then you can have some potty help. Because you still can have it. And that will help you learn your potty skill. Oh. They just are kissing. I don't remember telling her to do that. So we are going to kiss. We can't do that. We need to, why don't we do a deep conversation and we'll blow a kiss. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be a goal, but <laughs> I usually do like to have some time pass. So that's why I figured we'll see what we can get, where we get with this date. We'll try. I would think she could still dance. Isn't she, is she still hungry? Let me get her another strawberry. If I can find them. There we go. There's another strawberry. And then we are going to see if he can kiss her passionately. There. Passionate kiss. Why don't you try a passionate kiss? I know she's in labor. <laughs> Probably not the best time. But it would be good if we could do that. Poor girl, so uncomfortable, but she's just gone into labor, so she's got a little bit of time left. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> if we got a gold while she was in labor, that would be quite hilarious, I would think. I'm definitely not expecting a gold, but uh, it would be funny. I don't know about woohooing. <laughs> Let's see whether we can dance. Let's go. And dance. Can you dance, my dear? No, you're too uncomfortable to dance. 
Can you woohoo? Is that an option? No. <laughs> I guess it's going to be a silver and not a gold because she can't dance with him, unfortunately. And how much time has passed? Two hours, not enough time. I don't want you to be in bed, my dear. You are, well, you may be tired. Do you still need to go potty? You didn't go potty. Why don't we have Daddy come and give you a second wind? It's under parenting, not, um, if I can collect it. Help with needs, give a second wind. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Ethan, uh, Brian isn't high enough and he's playful. Yes, it's the downside. Don't you go to bed. Don't go to bed. See, because he won't be able to give him a second wind. At all. Okay, I want you to wake up. You're going to eat this, and you're going to eat this. And forget the second wind. We will just have you come and potty train Ethan. And let me check in on our... She's 51 minutes. We're going to have to go. I just want to make sure he's at least eaten before we go. Because then we'll get, like, a notification that he's, like, so hungry. And I don't really want him to be hungry. He's... Put me to bed! Can you eat? Why are you coming all the way out here to eat? Why is that? I mean, we could just have her have her baby here. And then we can end the date after. <laughs> as opposed to leaving. <laughs> to go to the hospital. <laughs> but I liked to get the, um, what is she doing? Watch. And how much time is left? It, I think it's go time. I think we're, we are going to go to the hospital. So we're going to end the date. Add a silver. I forgot to put my timer on. So, uh, we're going to go have the baby and then that's going to be it for this part. So I will see you when we get over to the hospital. Well, we're here at the hospital. And as usual, Sawyer is uh, <laughs> panicking. And we're going to go head over with Amelia to go have this baby. This is going to give us a full house. Only one. Hopefully we have a girl. Fingers crossed. As long as Brian lives with us, we won't be able to have any more kids. So, But I guess he is an adult or young adult. He could move out. Let's get a picture. Of her having the baby. There we go. Of course, I, my main thing is to have a picture of her afterwards when she has the baby. But we will see how it's go fast. Because this is just kind of takes a little bit of time. Yeah. There we go. And we did have a girl. Yes. And I am going to call her Fern, which was another name that was suggested by Becky XD, who also suggested Ethan. And I figured Fern seemed appropriate because they both are gardeners and it's sort of a plant name. So I thought that was perfect. <laughs> Fern Bloom. I didn't actually pick the bloom originally with the idea that she was going to end up being a gardener, but I guess that's kind of fitting too. So there she is. And of course, we could not have any twins <laughs> because we had a full house. I was going fast still, so I had to stop it. And I'm not sure what his problem is. He's uncomfortable. Oh, he's freezing. He's cold. Well, I tried to put some clothes to have him change into his winter clothes, so hopefully that'll work. I'm going to see if I can get a picture of them together with the walls up. I have to say Fern doesn't look very happy at all. And see if I can get a better angle or a better shot with her not so... She still doesn't look very good. Maybe one with uh, a shot of Amelia. That's good. Got a, got a picture of her holding her. But I am going to leave it here. We have our little girl. So we now have a full house. We have eight Sims, including our Leah cat in the house. But that is going to be it for this part. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge Let's Plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!